I uh, created a non-profit organization originally called PACT, Parents and Abducted Children Together, in uh, 1998. And I've been running it for 20 years and now it changed its name to Action Against Abduction. And the issue I was concentrated, concentrating on was parental abduction, which was a problem that was getting more and more relevant because more and more people marry foreigners, more international marriages. And, um, and it's something that affected me personally. And I think that like most charities, usually they are founded by people uh, who had experienced something that led them uh, to be quite passionate about an issue. One of the things that it helped me is never to feel sorry for myself. So it was onwards and upwards as much as I could. And as long as I worked, as long as I did thing, then I wasn't concentrating on myself. And I think the worst thing, if you're capable, is actually to work hard and to continue, to continue, to continue. I hated holidays, couldn't take a holiday because once you stop, then you start thinking and then you don't want to think. I mean, I've been separated from my children for 10 years and I couldn't gain access to them. So it was a very difficult time. Moving to Washington was the most extraordinary thing because it all happened so quickly. Uh, what happened is I went to uh, see Christopher, who was our new ambassador to uh, Germany. And I went to see him as a mother who had lost her children seeking his help. And as he would say, the rest was history. Um, and then quite soon after that, uh, he was posted to Washington, D.C. And he said, I'm not going to go without you. But it was the most extraordinary, uh, I would say, six years of our lives. Uh, we loved it. Um, it was a very busy time. We would have like 13,000 people a year come to the embassy. I'm not at all anti-European. I'm myself, and you can hear it in my accent. I'm the representative of Europe, uh, being half French. Uh, my mother is of Russian origin. I lived in several countries, speak several languages. In fact, English is my third language. Uh, so I am a European, but I dislike profoundly uh, what the European Union has become. When you had six countries that were actually there for one particular purpose, was to trade between the countries and for this trade to be done easily. And also it was a sort of reaction to the communist bloc and the uh, World War II. In those days, it was a fabulous idea and it worked well. But as the European Union expanded, as Brussels became more and more uh, like an administration, uh, more and more centralized, I could see Long term, it can't work and it can't work because the UK is such a different country to the rest of Europe. I mean, we used to call the rest of Europe the continent. Um, I think it's, a, it's going to be a very important and very difficult time because now is the time where we can redraw everything. So we're out of the European Union. Now we have to decide exactly what we want to do and how we want to do it. I think one of the things we should really concentrate on is not make choices. It's not uh, we make a trade deal with the EU first and we won't concentrate on the US. I think we sh should try and do a, a trade deal with everybody. And But in the meantime, it is also uh, our time to redraw our uh, barriers and how, you, how we want to redefine the future of this country. We have a fantastic opportunity and I want people to be optimistic about it. And in fact, one of the things why, in my opinion, Boris won is because he was optimistic. I used to talk a lot, obviously, about parental abduction and the law. And now I concentrate more on maybe uh, talk a little bit about the type of life I, I had, you know, from sort of riches to poor back to uh, which is sort of like an American theme for a movie. Um, but, you know, I used to be a successful commodity broker uh, in the city of London. I did very well. Then I had my downfall in as much as I lost my children and I was unemployed and I was queuing to get benefits, which is, you know, was really difficult. I had 10 years of struggle and then suddenly maybe fate played a huge role, obviously. Um, suddenly something happened and I met this wonderful man 
and we get on very well and my life's been completely different.